This is a cog off a 1932 Coventry motorcycle and a friend has asked me to make some repairs. Um, this actually forms part of a clutch so these holes are normally filled with a friction material and it locates over here onto this clutch plate and another clutch plate goes on the other side which is spring loaded to complete the clutch assembly. Uh, this is normally has ball bearings fitted in here and the ball bearings are kept in place by a little metal plate uh, one each side and these have become very damaged so my friend has asked me to to make a couple of these for him I've actually done one already I had some bronze material the right thickness so that's what I decided to use so I thought I might like to show you exactly how I made this it actually has a, a groove on one side to capture the ball bearings so I made a little tool and it's just a piece of uh, brass bar drilled with a ball bearing set in it's not a tight fit so I can put this in the lathe to actually cold form this groove. To hold the sheet metal I turned up a piece of aluminium and all I do is glue or blank onto here, put it in the lathe, cold form the, the groove and then put it in the CNC mill and finish cutting the profile and drilling. So it's pretty straightforward. I've had a couple of uh, boo-boos. The first time I tried to cold form the the groove, they played board quite a lot. This looks like cold rolled material, so it's probably got a lot of stress in it. And obviously, putting, cold forming the groove increased the stress and it buckled. So to prevent that and reduce the stress in the material, I subsequently annealed it just by heating it to a cherry red uh, and softening the material a little bit and for this one that worked quite well it has got a slight bore in it which I'll have to correct later on but I think that would be no problem so I'll show you how I did it first thing to do is to set this up in the lathe get the tool for forming the groove lined up and then glue on the, um, the, the the material, the blank material. So let's go to the lathe. We're at the lathe. To make sure I keep this concentric with the lathe axis I've got a setup up here which lines up with this chuck jaw so I always put it back in the same position. And then just take the cold forming tool Bring it in line with the groove that I've machined in the face here, which is in the right position for the cold forming of the groove. Set it down to zero, lock the carriage. Okay, that's all set up, ready. So I take it out again, back to the bench to glue on the sheet metal. Okay, we're back at the bench. I've cleaned these surfaces with acetone. I'm using some cyanacrylate adhesive, in this case hair fix, which I use quite a lot. I quite like this glue because it doesn't stick instantly, it gives you time to position things. And it's always worked very well for me, so this is what I use. So very simple, just apply the glue. I'm using an old end mill just to centralize everything. Apply some weight. I 
Okay, I'll leave that for about 20 minutes. Okay, we're back at the lathe. Put it back in. Just touch on. Set it out to zero first. Touch on. Okay, the groove only needs to be 8 to 10 thou deep. So I'm going to go in 8 to 10 thou. And then I'm going to move it sideways, each way about 5 thou, just to widen it a little bit. That's it. Okay, well, the CNC mill. I've got the job all centered up. I'm using a two, two millimeter carbide uh, center cutting end mill. I'm running it at about 6,000 rails per minute and a feed rate of about 80 uh, millimeters per minute. So the machine does all the work, so let's go. We've got five holes to drill 2.5 millimeters diameter so I've got a spotting drill in here to mark the positions of the holes then I'll drill a two millimeter pilot and finish with a two millimeter um, so let's go
Okay, that's the machining finished. We just now need to release the glue. We do that by heating it up with a gas torch, just very gently. Something like, I don't know, 200, 250 degrees C. But just heat it gently and it eventually just releases. We do that outside because as the glue deteriorates under the heat, it gives off toxic fumes. So as I was saying before, these have gone slightly concave and they need to be flat. So I've machined this aluminium billet with a recess to locate this centrally. And another recess, a deeper recess, to allow me to just put this dolly on here and push down. I've gone ahead and I've riveted the side plates to the cog. So it's just a case of putting the balls in. They click in quite nicely. There's about 50. Okay, that's all the balls in place. Move it on quite nicely. Quite firm. Fits the clutch plate quite nicely. So that's the job finished. I've made a little key plate just to keep this together and keep the dirt out. I'll put a little plate over there just to hold it together. And that's it, finished.